Right, well, welcome to a new series of uh, Minecraft Computer Craft. This is for version 120.1, which at the time of recording is uh, the, the latest version. They're just about to release, I think, 120.2. Uh, this is a, a, a new series based on the toolkit, which I have done a previous uh, series on. Let me just escape from here and we'll go back to the original series that uh, I did, which is this one here. So this is the one that you may have already watched. It was done two years ago, um, and it gives you the, uh, the the tools that you can use with uh, turtles to do various tasks. Uh, they've been massively updated. The, the code is now in uh, full color, not the code, but the interface is now in full color. Um, and there's a, a lot of help screen. In addition to that, I've also done, if I can show you my GitHub, a series of docs in PDF format, which are in uh, full color and showing you all the different uh, interfaces, how they work and so on. This is nothing to do with the description of the code. This is just a how to use guide. I will not be dealing with any of the code in this series. This is just purely to show you how you can use it. I'll put all the links, of course, for this. So we've got uh, 10 guides for the different uh, interfaces there. Um, now, the world that you, I was just showing you is based on this series by Pixel Rifts. Uh, again, I'll put that in the link. So I've used the same seed that he gave here in the 120 Survival Guide, which is a very good series. So if you're relatively new to Minecraft and, and not over familiar, I would thoroughly recommend this. So I will be making references to some of the stuff that he does uh, over this series. Just to get back to the world here. So I'm just going to go into spectator mode to show you what I've done. So um, I wanted to get to the point where I'm about to create the first turtle. So I'll just show you how I did it. This was an island with a, uh, a couple of trees on. And you can see there's a couple of other islands here. I just chose this because it looked interesting. Over this side, there is jungle. Uh, there's um, flower forest, I think it is over there. Uh, there's a desert not too far away, so there's kind of everything that you might need. Now, my technique of finding the first diamonds, bog standard if they just die under the ground here. So I built this uh, stairway, which goes um, diagonally straight, or not quite straight down. I think it goes about half the depth, and then crosses over on itself and goes down again. Uh, I was quite fortunate in that I found um, six diamonds just by going down this uh, this strip. There was two or three in the uh, in the edge. Uh, on the way up, because I have zeros mini map, as you can see on the left hand side, it showed me that there was uh, a disused mine shaft over in this direction. So I, I have gone and investigated that and brought back. Uh, I think I found another three diamonds embedded in the wall there. Um, there's also a, a spawner, which um, we can perhaps make use of at a later date. So that gives you the current situation as I start the series. I've already made myself a starter house. I've already mined three diamonds. So this is from the point where you would start to make your first uh, turtle and what you can do with it once you uh, have, uh, have done it. So we'll come out of this and uh, the uh, episode starting uh, now with how to make the first turtle. So if I can get back to survival mode, there we go. Ouch. I'm playing on uh, easy mode um, so that there are mobs, but it's, it's not too difficult. Um, I've also set so that there are no phantoms and that if I die, I respawn with all my belongings. So that's just to make sure that we can do this without interruptions as I'm 
trying to go through all the different uh, ways of doing things. So uh, in my um, inventory already, there's the, the first three diamonds I've created, a diamond pickaxe. So we're going to make our first advanced computer. Now you can get away using uh, with a, a, a cheaper, simpler computer using iron ingots. Uh, but if you can get hold of the gold, the advanced computers are in colour. It looks a lot nicer, so I wanted to make sure that I had those. As you can see, I've got enough to make uh, one here, so we'll get started with that. Just to show you the recipe, in case you're not familiar. Uh, so you put a gold exterior, redstone and a pane of glass, and you get an advanced computer. Uh, if you then combine the, the advanced computer with a chest and surround it in gold ingots, you get an advanced turtle. Uh, you can then put different tools on the turtle. Personally, I like to use a crafting table and a diamond pickaxe. This must never have been used. It's got to be a brand new diamond pickaxe, and then it will produce an advanced crafty mining turtle. There we go, we've got the turtle. So uh, we can now start to um, use it uh, to do all the different things uh, so I can go through all the routines for you. So first job is just to place it down. There we go. And when you open it up, you get this uh, interface. So I'll now show you how to get the, uh, the toolkit in. Right, so the uh, file uh, GitHub I just showed you earlier has one here called updata.txt in the main uh, root folder. So if I just click on that, that's the command you use. The same command is available directly from pastebin itself. I'll put these links in the, in the uh, description. So you've got, again, the same thing here, pastebin run with the same number. It's slightly easier to see here in this one. So we'll copy that, control C, then we'll go back to the game, control V to paste it in and hit enter. Now, because this is a brand new computer, it's not been named. So it's asking you to type a name with no spaces in I it's entirely up to you. I usually use the word minor zero zero for the first one. Press enter. So the computer is now named and it's downloading a series of files from uh, Pastebin, which are all useful uh, to you apart from the main toolkit. There's a bunch of very much uh, smaller but more but useful files. Um, I noticed with this 120 version that we've got um, this on the side here which is new that's certainly not appeared before so it must be uh, something that they've just introduced here interesting not quite sure how that works i shall have to uh, investigate right so we've got all the files downloaded so if i ls which will list them so we've got all these files now uh, the ones with a single letter like um, b d f r l um, and so on, are back, down, forward, right, left, up. P is for place and X is for excavate, in other words, dig. So you can use these commands directly um, to do things. For example, if I just press R, I will first of all just escape. You can see we're facing the front there with, with the uh, ax on this side and the crafting table there. So if I press R, and enter it's now turned one direction right it will not go forward because we have no fuel so if i press f it just says no fuel so that's our next stage and so i will um call it a an end to this introductory video so starting on the next one we'll be refueling the turtle then um i have used what wood we had in this area here apart from one tree i've got a bunch of um, saplings so i want to go and create a tree farm and i'm thinking of using i think 
possibly one of these areas here, we can also mine out some minerals uh, at, at the same time. So that will be uh, next episode. Uh, this is just uh, an addendum to the end of this uh, episode. I've, um, as I've increased the file size of the toolkit, it uh, sometimes causes problems when you're updating, having already downloaded the files. There, there's sometimes not quite a sufficient disk space. So I'm just going to show you on this turtle, which is currently one that's uh, uh, running. So I'm just going to press uh, paste bin run, which is the one you were, uh, were showing you earlier. And you'll notice we get this error. Um, save your game, edit the file, server config, computer craft, server toml in your game save folder and change line 2. So let me just show you the update log. So this is this particular uh, game. Uh, there's the update log. And you'll see that it, it um, was finding the file sizes of all the different files, including the TK, which is half a megabyte which is you know, a fair size and the available space is um, not much more so the code itself is designed to allow 50,000 bytes and if it's uh, of spare space once you take account of what you're about to download and if it's not enough then it will um, switch out so it says here uh, insufficient disk space for the update and then you've got these instructions that you have um, here. So let me show you how that is done. So in the um, computer craft saves, it's in the save file here, then you've got um, server config. So this is your saver. So this is my survival guide game save server config and then you've got this one computer craft server 2ml i'll just drag that into notepad plus plus and we'll drag that back in here and you'll see that on line two we've got computer space limit equals one million so it's one and six noughts easy to fix just change that to two and then save the file so that that has now been updated we can close that off you can do it in notepad you don't have to use notepad plus um, plus and then we can rerun the um, file here let's close that off and we'll rerun the updater But as you can see, it's not changed. Now, the reason for that is that I haven't restarted the game. Now we should be able to use this um, paste bin run again. And this time it's working. So it's now downloading all of the files because there's now sufficient disk space for it to happen. Um, if you are a keen turtle user and you already had a bunch of your own files or log files or anything like that then this could be very important because uh, you may not even have been able to have loaded them in the first place and this time you've got the file sizes the available space now look is 1.4 million so we've got plenty of space because we increased the um the disk size to two megabytes rather than one and so now we've got plenty of space and it's done all of the uh, updates that we're supposed to do with zero updated and so on because we already um, were up to date so this just just would have updated them had their version numbers been different so, uh, an important point to remember that um, you may need to change your settings and the details of how to do it uh, are on my GitHub page and the kind of hinted at on, on here as well.